Hi, I am Juan Rios, and this is my presentation for communications. And um, my topic that I'll be going through would be nonverbal communications. And some of the topics I'll be going through today would be the characteristics of nonverbal communication and type kind of what the functions of what really is nonverbal communication and what different types of nonverbal communication there really is. Um, so to start off, I'm going to be saying the definition of what nonverbal communication is. Nonverbal communication is a message of non-linguistics communications that is expressed. Um, so nonverbal communication is is a type of a way to be able to speak to others um, without using words or phrases, um, but more of using gestures and motions to be able to express yourself in a different type of manner. Um, so then some importance of nonverbal communication would, would be able to show you in a study done in 1972 um, where it shows how 93% of emotional communication with others would be through nonverbal communications such as like the gestures or the expressions that the others that other person individual that you was, you were talking to gives you or shows you during the conversation and just seven percent of the conversations is actually verbal that actually affects you and it just shows how the importance of nonverbal communication really is and the different types of nonverbal communication that i would like to say would be just the face expressions the gestures the posture the, the tone of the other individual's voice or the behavior that they're giving off the vibe or the or even texting is a type of nonverbal communication, being able to speak to another individual without actually speaking to them. Um, and um, so a face expression would kind of be if, let's say you have an, you're talking to your friend and they have, they have an ex-boyfriend and they're talking about them and how they uh, decide to get back together and you roll your eyes unconsciously. And when you roll your eyes, you're showing how you're exhausted and you're tired of the situation and you're just you're just over it. And um, the posture, let's say, of a teacher is teaching and the student that they're teaching to is slouching and, let's say, le uh, leaning on their desk and sleeping, uh, showing how unintent they are in the conversation and the subject that they're learning and just kind of the, the way the, they're showing and their vibe that they're giving off. And gestures, let's say, you're talking to somebody and the gestures that they're using hand motions and they're just they're just talking with their hand expression. Let's say they're yelling and they're moving their hands a lot, showing that how angry and I guess excited you could say they are with the conversation and the tone of their voice. So if my mother yells at me to throw the trash out and she's yelling and screaming, I can understand that she's upset and she's mad and she wants me to throw the trash away. And just any other behavior that you may get from other person that that you might have caught on to that something out of the ordinary or different. And texting is another way to show uh, nonverbal communication by speaking through your words other than your actual voice, such, uh, such as like a letter or messages. Um, secondly, um, another type of characteristic of nonverbal communication would be that it happens unconsciously without you realizing it and how usually it's, it's going to be unrational. And it's biological sometimes for other for individuals who cannot speak and they are their death and they speak through their gestures and their hand motions through sign language which is a growing type of language in today's modern day such as like spanish uh, in america and it's continuous it's it happens often and plenty of times and the function of nonverbal communication would be the, uh, the way it helps others such as deaf people who can speak and the way it helps them to be able to speak and in this world where a voice is everything and to be able to be able to have a say in, in the matter and it helps to bring the light of a very different style of communication with people um, it helps to be able to to bring personality into people who aren't able to show it in another way um, and finally a main idea that I would like to show would be kind of really how important nonverbal communication really is Nonverbal communication is so important that it, it helps those who can't speak to be able to communicate, to be able to have an opinion, to be able to have some type of voice in this world. And nonverbal communication, in my opinion, is very important and should be studied and realized and noticed in conversations all over. And it's it's truly amazing type of uh, sign language is, a, is an amazing language that should be learned. Um, thank you for listening. and. I'm um, Juan Rios again, and 
this is my presentation for nonverbal communication.